Hello, WW9L John here, and I'm sure that this is old hat for most of you, but for those of you who don't know, we're going to tune up the Drake Twins for use on the air, and I'm going to show you how to spot them in the second half of this. So according to the book, we take and make sure that all of the controls are fully county clockwise, and they are. We're, I'm on 20 meters, 14 here, that's set about in the center, uh, separate, which means I'm going to be tuning just the transmitter here, or we can go to transmitter and check that. We're in sideband, I'm on upper, CD, CD, upper sideband, and normal uh, for the crystal switch. So here's how we do it. First, take the uh, function switch to tune. And what I'm looking for is the idle current, and it's about right. And then I just advance the drive a little bit, 150 mils, and then I peak this. I'm looking for a peak in the meter reading, and I've got it. And so we go back to sideband, and we're going to let it cool for a second, although I do have a fan on it. Yours probably doesn't. So we'll go back to tune. I'm going to advance this up to about 250 mils and then I'm going to dip the final. If you can see the, there was a nice dip right there. All right, so we advance this, let it cool for a second. Remember those are sweep tubes and they, they are rugged, but they don't like abuse. So then I'm going to take, and just arbitrarily, I'm going to advance the load just a little bit, although I don't have to. Let me, let me show you what happens. Uh, we give the, advance the uh, drive a little bit more, and let's tune for a dip. Right there. Nice dip. We advance the drive to about 300 mils, and let's let it cool down for a second. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to go to tune. I'm going to dip the final one more time. And we're going to take the uh, load, go up to about 300 mils, dip the final. And uh, there, there you go. That's really all there is to it. Now in normal operation, you would have the drive turned up a little higher so we're going to turn the drive up a little higher I've got too much loading in there dip it I want to keep it around 300 mils okay and that right there is giving me 120 watts out and I can I can actually advance the load a little bit and get it a little bit over that always finish by dry by dipping the final and there you go now in sideband operation I would run my microphone gain up to about there. One, two, three, test one, two. And what you see is the meter going up to between one, 100, 100 and 200 milliamps. That's all there is to it. Hope that it, that helped. Now let's move to the receiver. If I can get the camera positioned over here. R4B and we're going to spot it. Now right now I've got the, we're running off of the transmitter and I want to spot these together. So let's turn it up so you can hear it. We're going to peak the pre-selector for maximum noise and then I'm going to go to the spot control on the transmitter. Uh, and we're going to zero it. That's the canary sound. That's what we're looking for is a few cycles, a few cycles per second. All right, I'll do it again. We're going to spot it. 
I like the, an upper side bend. I like to come from the high side and go to the low. That's spotted close enough right there. So you can see it. Let me show you what I'm doing on the transmitter to do that. I move the spot button. Go from the high side down. That's the sound we're looking for. Now, if you ever wondered if you want to use it in transceive, which gets you close, but it, it may be good enough. But that seems to always change on the receiver. So what I'm going to do to spot in transceive is I actually have to take and move the function switch to on, make sure that the volume or your mic gains all the way down, and then go to spot, and then just go to spot. You hear that? This transmitter and receiver is in pretty good tune, and I've got them after they're warmed up that they're actually spotted in transceive. Hey, I hope that helps you out a little bit. WW9L73, see you on the band.